Hello YouTube, Luigi here. You know, it's late at night on the evening of the uh, 13th of May 2015 and I got this idea for a video and I am deliberately filming this one under subdued light. You'll see why in a minute. Here I have two Zippo lighters. This is a regular old Zippo in my favorite finish. You can see it's this black crinkled steel. I just love it. The shiny parts here because I just filled it. Oh, well, you know, listen. Zippo is famous for this sound. And it's the usual filled up with fuel, windproof. These things really are windproof. Windproof lighter. Sound is everything, man. And now you see why I'm using subdued light. Now this is also a Zippo. And you can see it's larger. It's larger. This is called the Zippo Blue 2. B-L-U-2. It doesn't have a flat top. It's got the scrolly thing. And it's not the best fit and finish. It's close. But it's not quite tight. So you open it up. It claims to have the same click that the other one does. It's not quite. It's not quite the same. It's a little more subdued. This is a butane lighter that Bic came out with. And I get this thing and I notice this looseness here. And I go, man, did I just get some cheap Chinese clone? We expect better out of Zippo than this. So I kind of took it apart and I realized when you put your thumb on this flint igniter, you deliberate, when you depress it, like you see, you open the valve and the gas starts to come out. And when you get to this part, that keeps the valve open. So you start the valve open with this, keep it open with that. It took me a while to figure that out. So now I realize that little bit of shakiness is deliberate. And you see the butane jet. I just wanted to point that out in case you thought this was a cheap, flimsy thing. Um, there's a reason for it. Could they have done it another way? Maybe. But now that I understand it, I'm feeling less angry like, oh, I bought a Chinese clone that stinks. Now I get it. Why did I get this one? Because when I was in Arizona last winter, I uh, enjoyed, very much enjoyed the ritual of sharing cigars with my three brothers. And if you go on YouTube and look at the proper way to light a cigar, this is not the lighter of choice. Why? Because that fuel has an odor to it, and it can get in and destroy your smoke. This is how they want you to use it. Or a wooden match after the sulfur is burned off, or a little, what they call a strip, which is a piece of cedar, which lasts longer than a match. So I got this for cigars. And that's really all I got to say. Uh, some of you know that Zippo is owned by Case, or Case is owned by Zippo. I really don't know. I was kind of expecting an exact size uh, replica. Um, didn't happen. It's got the nozzle on the bottom where you fill it. It is flint ignited, just like the flint. And you see the flint strike wheels very much like the other one in here. But this is the classic. I will always love this knife. This knife, ha, this lighter. They truly are windproof. What I like about these lighters is they're timeless, it's especially in old World War II movies where every GI is smoking cigarettes and every GI has a Zippo. You can tell by the signature sound. Okay, that's it. The classic Zippo in my favorite finish, Crinkle Black Steel, and the Zippo Blue 2, B-L-U-2, butane model. Okay, everybody. God bless you. Take good care. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.